Hi everyone, so today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about tragedies from Masterbox and it comes in 135 scale, it's part of their Russian-Ukrainian war series and as you can see it's a kit number 8 and we have here the kit which is named as a on the battlefield we have here Ukrainian military medics you can see them on the box art, I wonder if those uh, three figurines will be included obviously these two are medics and this one is wounded soldier but we have this kit as a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and it means that uh, this is the final shape of this kit and it should be already available for example in Madelimax web shop so the first thing is that the size of this box is typical for this brand here is comparison with my hand we have quite nice box art by the way and the kit number is written here it's MB35231 and here on the side we have safety advices on the opposite side you will find exactly the same info and here on the rear side you can see also the assembly manual so maybe I'll zoom in so that you can check all of this information a bit closer so first of all we have the assembly manual combined together with the marking guide and note that we have two marking options basically so this standing soldier can be assembled in two uh, positions and this is really cool that they actually started including some alternative positions because it gives you more variety and in 135 scale it's a really useful feature this is obviously the parts map here we also have the example of the camouflage uh, colors and how they should be used for the uniform and of course we have the paint chart as well as the full list of the kits available in this series so we reviewed all of them so in case you are interested just open our youtube channel and you uh, will find them if you search for master box kits this is a side opening box so it's quite easy and quick to open and here is what we have inside as you can see it's uh, one well it's actually two plastic sprues which are connected together and packed into this resealable plastic bag so it should be easy and quick to open so I will do it right now and yes the wounded soldier is included as far as you can see so here you can see this frame and maybe we can zoom into this part first and you will notice that we have uh, I would say pretty much standard or traditional parts design for a 135 scale it means separate legs hands and a head a torso is molded as a single piece part and there are no guiding elements whatsoever so in case you are I would say hoping for some uh, helping elements which will guide you during the assembly they are not included here that's why it will be important to pay attention on how they will be combined together and what will be the necessary let's say finish in order to achieve the smooth connection between those body parts but again the sculpting quality and the overall molding quality will create and here we have another figurine so we can zoom even closer so as you can see again a lot of uh, items I would say equipment items are molded separately, even the helmet here is molded separately and if we check it, it's empty inside by the way. So those items will have to be placed separately, but it's really good that they are molded as a separate parts because this way you will be able to probably paint the figurine a bit more properly, I would say, if we can put it this way. So overall we get three figurines in 135 scale together with various accessories and armament. It should be already available, as I said, in Madelimax and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye